What is up, Humanoid Nation? So today's video is going to be something very different. I'm going to do a tier list for the very first time on my opinions on the best and worst Saturday Night Live cast members. So I watched all the seasons starting from 75 up to 2020. New seasons with the three new people will not be on here. Uh, I forget their name. It's right up until Punky Johnson shows up. That's where my I stop because that's where I stop is what I'm letting you know. Just my opinion. You guys can have your own opinion on who's the best and who's just not good. But I'm not going to be pointing this in order. So here's the thing. Over here, we'll be having the GOAT. They're the greatest of all time. Whoever have done great shit on that show. Second one is they can be funny, but they're not really the GOAT, but they're still there. And they just, they can be funny. I laugh. Uh, this one is they were there, I guess. If like they're a famous actor now and they were there, like, you know, sure, they were there is what I'm saying. Because like, they didn't really make much of an impact until years later where they became a make a star. Lip on the radar. You completely forget they are there. Because like, you're watching a show and like, oh yeah, this guy was on there. I completely forgot. And the last one is don't remember them whatsoever. Like they don't leave an impact on you. Nothing at all. So let's do this, guys. So the first one is A. Whitney Brown. I did I mostly watched him on the uh weekend update stuff. I really didn't like him. He was mostly on weekend update a lot. That's all he ever did. I don't know, man. I'm just going to say they were there, I guess. A. Whitney Brown, he didn't really make me laugh. He was just there. I mostly skip his stuff because like, I didn't really find A. Whitney Brown really hilarious that much. Who's this? Abby Elliott? I think that's Abby Elliott. Yeah. Abby Elliott. Daughter of Chris Elliott. I'm going to say it. She was a blip on the radar. She was there. Um... Did stuff. All I know is she's famous for being Chris Elliott's daughter, is what I'm saying. Adam Sandler. Okay. That goes straight to the top. Adam Sandler was funny as hell on Saturday Night Live. Nowadays, not so much because he's kind of given up. But come on. Phantom Opera guy. What do you guys do on Halloween? Uh, he just had so many great characters. Uh, the Cajun Man. So thinking about it, most of these characters were on the weekend update. Uh, Schwartz gave beer with him and Chris Farley. Oh my god, he was so hilarious during that time on Saturday Night Live. He was just too hilarious. He was the ultimate goat on there. Yeah, um, Aidy Bryant. I'd say she's the goat as well because he's been there for a long, long time. And every time she's on there, she like tries not to laugh, but that what makes her so adorable. <laughs> Especially when, like, the stress producer comes in the middle of a sketch and tries to change her, and, <laughs> and she just laughs and laughs. But yeah, A.D. Bryant, he's a goat. He's the greatest of all time. Um, Al Franken. I would say blip on the radar because him and um, Tim Schiller was it Tim Schiller? Oh my God, who was his partner when he first started on there? Tom Schiller, no Tom Davis. Him and Tom Davis were this comedy tag team in the seventies, in the seventies era, and then later on in the nineties and eighties was on Weekend Update saying that's me, Al Franken. He, I didn't find him that funny. But yeah, he was just a blip on the radar. Uh, this dude. I think this is Alan Zibwill. Will, 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 will. Alan Zibwill. I don't remember much of him. I just know that he was at the end of uh, season five when all the good ones came. Yeah, when Dan Aykroyd and all them were still there was Ben, Bill Murray, and Garrett Morris. Brought in a bunch of new guys, like, this dude didn't do much at all. 
Oh my god, I can't remember who this guy is. Amy Fowler. He's one of the goats. He can be hilarious. This is gonna log me it for a while. Who is this dude? Who is this dude? You know what? I don't remember anything from this guy. That John Radisky? I don't remember a shit about him. But yeah. Amy Poehler, great, great on there. This weekend update her and Tina Fey. Had some amazing characters. There's a few characters I didn't like, like uh her being like that Uncle Rick, Uncle Rick girl from going to the hospital and just being a total nuisance. I don't know. I just found that annoying. Anna Gasteyer. She can be funny. She was there, but she can be funny. Not really much to say about that. She can be funny. No problems with her. Don't know who this guy is. Don't remember him at all. That Brooks Whelan. Can't remember. Adam Sandberg? Is that Adam Sandberg? Yeah, that's Adam Sandberg. One of the goats. Because, like, he brought in digital shorts and a Mark Wahlberg impression. It's like, hey, hey there. Tell your mom I said hi. It's like, yeah, I need a mother for me. Got all his digital shorts. And, oh, God, this dude. It, it was worth watching digital shorts just for this guy and him and his Lonely Island crew doing so much stuff. Ah, oh, he was just too good. Um, who the heck is Gail Mateus? No, looks like Gail Mateus. I'm looking up the list. I don't know who that is. I don't remember. Sorry, I'm. I, I don't remember who that is. Emily Prager, maybe. Who this? Also, I don't know who this is. Can't tell. Okay, I'm going to get some hate if some people know him, but I really don't remember this guy. Oh, Beck Bennett, one of the goats. Reminds me of a young Bill Hartman, because he, this dude would do everything. He would do the voices, characters. Yeah, I, I just saw him as a young Phil Hartman. That they just go. He's like the heart of the show, man. He was the heart of the show. Sad that he left, but he has to go do his own thing. But good for him. Ben Stiller, flip on the radar. He was only there for like what four episodes until he got fired, so he really didn't do anything. Became famous years later. Uh, Beth Cahill. Don't really remember anything she did. She was just there. She had one sketch with Chris Farley or Mike Myers. And that was it. Bill Hader. One of the goats. How can you go wrong with Bill Hader? As long as Stefan and all his other characters. This dude is a legend. The real, real legend. Bill Murray. Also one of the goats. He's so great when he first showed up. Like cheeseburger, 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 cheeseburger. Although his lounge singer act, I'd never really liked. That's the only character I didn't like from him. Or not, he was really hilarious. Who this? Is that Billy Crystal? Yeah, that's Billy Crystal. All right, Billy Crystal. They can be funny. I didn't put him in as a goat because he was like on one of the seasons where they brought in the heavy hitters. That was like after um after like the whole shit of Eddie Murphy. No, not the shit of Eddie Murphy, like Joe Piscopo, Tim Kaiserinsky, that era, and then Eddie Murphy left. Well Eddie Murphy came, saved the show, then they left the show, and then Billy Crystal came in after was the heavy hitter, was Martin Short. The really forgettable season. He was funny. He can be funny, but he couldn't save the show because it was kind of declining during that time. Uh, Bobby Moynihan, he can be funny with his wide eyes and all that stuff, because I laugh anytime he just pops his eyes open. That's the one great gimmick I love about the guy. He has, does he have any good characters? Like, I don't remember, but all I remember is him being, just widening his eyes and I would just crack up. Bowen Yang, um, 
I don't know if it's between one of the goats or they can be funny. It's too early to tell because, like, been only there for three seasons and finally is a main cast member. I'm gonna say they can be funny, but not goat material yet. Because, like, he doesn't have any specific characters that are funny. He's just there being funny, which is kind of funny in itself. Not him being funny, but he can be funny, is what I'm saying. Uh, oh my god, who the hell is this dude? Brad Hall? Flip on the radar. All I remember him is doing Weekend Update. That's all I remember from. Brian Doyle Murphy. Murray. Uh, Bill Murray's older brother. Yeah. All I remember from him was uh, him doing Weekend Update. That's the only thing he was remembered for. And he did nothing else during his time. Uh, Brooks Whelan. Lip on the radar, he was there. I only remember one time he was there. It was with a weekend update where he was talking about some kind of like burpees infested thing that he thought he got. It was a hilarious story, but that's all I remember from him. Casey Wilson, Lip on the radar as well. Didn't do much. He was there for like, what, three seasons? And barely remember anything she ever did. That's Lee Strong, one of the goats. Not only she's is amazingly beautiful, but she is extremely funny. And she's been there for a long time. And she does side projects as well. Dude, a dude her and A.D. Bryant have been doing side projects all this time during their tenure on SNL. And that's Lee Strong wants to be there for a long time. It's like, goddamn. But she is hilarious as hell. That alien abduction abduction sketch where her and Ryan Gosling was in. Sure, Kate McKinnon stole the show on that one, but she was also hilarious in that too. Who is this? Oh, Charles Rocket. Um, they were there, I guess. Charles Rocket, like, he was in an era where like the OGs all left, and then the new cast members came in. And they tried to be funny. He was there. I liked his man on the street stuff. And his weekend update stuff. But that's all he ever did. And when he said fuck on air on live TV. Alright. Chevy Chase. The goat. I don't like him in movies. I don't find him funny. I just find him really bland. But on Saturday Night Live. He was the absolute legend. Not behind the scenes, because he was a dick to everyone. But on screen, this dude in his Pratt Falls, he was a legendary man. And always saying, live from New York, it's Saturday Night in every fold open. And him being in the community was also hilarious, but we're talking about Saturday Night Live. Uh, his, his, during his time on there, he was a goat, but behind the scenes, he was a major dick. <laughs> yeah. All right. Gary O'Terry. Um, he can be funny, is all I gotta say. The Spartan cheerleader thing was funny, but then it ran way too much, and I can't remember anything else that, that was funny except for Judge Judy when the actual Judge Judy showed up. Yeah, she can be funny. She can be really funny. Um, Chloe Feynman. Hmm. I'm kind of stuck with that. Um, Chloe Feynman. They were there, I guess. I don't remember anything solid from her. She's still brand newish a little bit. She's still part of the new cast. Been there for quite a while, but she hasn't really left a big impact in my head. And I guess she gets tired all the time by her last name by being seen. Well, saying Chloe sure is fine, man. That joke is all everywhere, everywhere. Uh, Chris Elliott, flip on the radar. He was on the 1995 season, where like the bad boy era of Saturday Night Live was going down before '96, and this 
let's just say the 95 season was not that good. It still had Chris Farley and Adam Sandler and a little, David Spade. But yeah, they had the newcomers like Janine Garofalo and Laura Keitlinger, but it, it was a miss or hit. It was like slowly, it was not that good. <laughs> Chris Farley, one of the goats. Come on, man. Uh, gotta go with Chris Farley. He, he, he made us laugh no matter what. Like the Matt Foley motivational speaker, Gay Schwartz beer. Uh, him having that one line with the Pepper Boy. He was so pissed that he only got one line, so he, he wore something ridiculous and made the most ridiculous voice just to get Adam Sandler to break. Oh, yes, Pepper Boy. You don't know what I'm talking about. Go watch that YouTube video of Pepper Boy. Chris Farley has one line, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, Chris Catan. Hmm, they were there, I guess. Not really much of a Chris Kattan fan. I didn't like his characters, like that monkey character he always did. The one character I liked of his is like the Knight of the Roxbury Brothers. That's about it. Like, I just couldn't get into him. Like, it's Chris Kattan. What else am I going to say? Chris Parnell. Stuck between can he be funny or the goat? I'm gonna say the goat because, like, who else but Chris Parnell can, like, just not laugh when Tim Meadows comes in and, like, you owe me five million dollars and does this, this robot dance, and Molly Shannon, Molly Shannon, and Will Ferrell are dying laughing, and Chris Parnell is the only one that doesn't break. I need to go watch that again. But yeah, Chris Parnell, the only one to actually get fired and rehired at the same time. Yes. Okay. Jay Farrow? Who is this? Oh, that's Chris Red. Chris Red. <clears throat> Chris Red, he can be funny. Depends on what he's given. Always wearing the hat. I like his rapping. But he can be funny. He hasn't done something memorable that I remember yet. But he can be funny. Chris Rocks. Oh my god. I love Chris Rock. But he was a blip on the radar. Come on. What do you remember from Chris Rock during his entire run? Besides the... Uh, is that Black Pride character he did? Uh, Nat X. Yeah. Guys, not X. Just didn't do much. And they were supposed he was supposed to be the next Eddie Murphy, but that didn't work out. But he was just there for like four seasons. Barely doing anything. I'm sorry. Uh, it's true. He was barely doing anything. It was a blip on the radar. Uh who the hell is this? Pamela Stevenson? I think. I don't remember who this is. Find out later. I don't remember them at all. Also, I don't remember this person. Who the hell is that? Can't remember. Colin Jost? Um, can be funny. I just don't know it because, like, he's. Always on weekend update. He's never on something else like doing other sketches. But him and Michael Che make a great weekend update team. I'd just like to see Colin Jones do something else besides weekend update because he can be funny, is what I'm saying. Uh, what the hell is this guy's name? Colin Quinn. Um, It's between they were there, I guess, and blip on the radar. Uh, I would say they were there, I guess. Like I could, didn't find Colin Joe's uh, Colin. God damn it, Colin Quinn. Funny at all? He was such a bad weekend update anchor. Oh my god, he replaced Norm. Norm McDonald gets fired, and he gets replaced with Colin Quinn. 
oh my god, this guy was horrible. I just couldn't get into anything he did. The one time I didn't like Weekend Update is when, when he ran it. When he was in charge of it. Usually I love Weekend Update, but even in the worst days when like Brian Doyle Murray was on there, I would watch it, but Paul and Quinn just ruined it for me. Uh, Damon Wayans, flip on the radar because he was there for a cup of coffee, got fired for doing a, a sketch that wasn't supposed to be doing it because like, he had an idea and they said no, so he said, fuck it, I'll make the character really, really gay and Lord, Lord, Lord Michaels got pissed and fired him right away. So he was a blip on the radar, really didn't do much. Came back to host a couple years later. It was funny then. Dan Vitale. Don't remember anything from him at all. Mark, uh, I was going to say Martin Short. Dana Carvey, the GOAT. Oh, when the, season, when the Bad Boy era season started happening, Dana Carvey was the first one there. And I loved every minute of it. It was like, like around 86. Yeah. Because before that was a bunch of crap. Dana Carvey was made the show watchable. He had so many good characters like the Church Lady, Garf, uh, George Bush. Way too many stuff is what I'm saying. Way too many stuff. Uh, Dan Aykroyd. One of the goats. One of the OGs. Started from the originals. Was his quit witted talking and all that stuff. He was hilarious. Uh, the Bassmaster 9000, such a classic sketch. Is Benitra Vance or Yvonne Hudson? Oh, people are going to get mad at me. <laughs> ah. Either way, Benitra Vance was a blip on the radar. Or Yvonne Hudson, I forget which. They didn't do much, but they were there. At least I remember one of them, Denitra Vance or Yvonne Hudson. I'm so sorry. Someone's gonna get mad at that. I do not know that's Yvonne Hudson, not Denitra Vance. Um, Daryl Hammond, one of the goats. Like, besides Kean Thompson, Daryl Hammond was the longest cast member there. Oh, Keenan Thompson came alive and would never go away. It's him doing Sean Connery on Celebrity Jeopardy was amazing. It's all his voice work. Come on, man. All of it was great. Who is this? Oh, David Kochner. Mm. David Kitchener. They were there, I guess. He only had one season, and that was like. A 96 version, Will Ferrell era. He really wasn't that funny until years later he did his own stuff. The only memorable thing I remember with, about him is with Mark McKinney and him doing those uh, Victorian guys like, Oh, oh, oh. He would bring that like four times and every time I would laugh my ass, I was like, Yes, yes, yes. I don't know, it just made me laugh. David Spade. I'm stuck between they can be funny and they were there, I guess. I'm going to go with they were there, I guess, because honestly, do you remember anything that he ever did in there except for like that Matt Foley motivational speaker sketch and him being the bye-bye guy from Spirit Airlines and also that rude receptionist like, I uh, you are. And do you remember anything else he did besides that? He was there, really didn't have much to do there. But he was there for a long time. But the guy can be funny. The guy can be funny. He was just there. Dean Edwards? Um, I would say Dean Edwards is a blip on the radar because uh, he was there. Nothing else I can say. Uh, Dennis Miller? It can be funny. He only was on Weekend Update for like eight years. That's all he did, but he was great as a Weekend Update anchor. 
all I can say. Uh, Julia Sweeney. Uh, they were there, I guess. The only thing I remember from her from doing it, it's packed. That's all she ever did, from what I remember. Nothing else. She was just there. Who this? Oh, um, Don Novello, the guy who does the priest stuff. Don Novello. He was there, I guess. I remember him doing his, like, father, Saraducci. I could never get into that character. I just didn't find it funny. I don't know. That's just me, though. But he was he was just there. Eddie Murphy. Here we go. The GOAT. Eddie Murphy flat out saved Saturday Night Live. But it was dying on its fifth, sixth season when all the OGs left and they brought in Kim Katarinsky, Joe Piscopo. Yeah, like the first like six, seven episodes they had these guys. It was not funny at all. Then they brought in Eddie Murphy and flat out saved the show. It was his show. He was the only cast member that was still a cast member and while hosting the goddamn show. Because he made a movie with Nick Nolte. And Nick Nolte couldn't show up, so he hosted it for him. Like I said, and he pissed people off saying, like, live from New York, it's the A.D. Murphy show, which it was. Let's not lie about it. But come on. Saved the show. He really saved the show. Ego Odom. Um, she can be funny. It's still brand new. Well, not brand new, but I still see her as brand new, like... She can be funny as hell, but she hasn't really left much of an impact to me as of yet. Uh, Ellen Cleghorn. They were there, I guess. He was just there. Really nothing memorable. Nothing at all. She was pretty much forgotten after. Emily Prager. Um blip on the radar, literally a blip on the radar. She was only there for one episode. And she was a cast member, but she was there for one episode. Um Vanessa Mitchell. Uh they were there, I guess. Don't really remember much of him. All I gotta say. Okay. I have nothing else to say. Fred Armisen, one of the goats. Come on, he's this dude, this dude. He was really amazing because, like, his character is like, I'm just kidding. And, like, him and Kristen Wiig doing the whole singing together, trying to figure out what they're saying and breaking. Ah, just too funny, just too funny. Good God, who's this dude? Uh, don't remember him. I just remember him being in like two episodes in 96. What was his name? Hold on. Oh, it wasn't Mike Myers. What am I talking about? He was there at the very end. They don't even know. Come on. Come on. I'm going to give up soon. Fred Wolf. That's his name. Fred Wolf. There's Gail Mateus. Gail Mateus, uh, she can be funny. She was on Weekend Update as a co-host. That's all I can remember from her. Uh, that's about it. Uh, Garrett Morris, one of the OGs, one of the GOATs. It was great. Like the first black cast member to start out was. He had a lot, to, a lot of bullshit to go through. And yeah. Every time every black cast member came in, they wanted to Garrett Morris him until Eddie Murphy came along and totally changed the game. Yeah, but Garrett Morris uh, did the B characters and the very loud, like, with a hearing impaired, he would just scream into people's ears. Oh, it's great. What the hell? This is from the Billy Crystal era. Who the hell is this dude? I don't know. I really don't know. I can't remember him. Oh, George Coe. Flip on the radar. He was only there for like one or two episodes of the original SNL. 
because the studio wanted an old timer because there was way too many young people and this guy was supposed to fill the role of the old guy or anything he did he was just there okay gilbert Gottfried, rest in peace my man you're a funny guy what buddy gilbert Gottfried was a blip on the radar on saturday night live when he started no one knew who he was started down in the season where they were just coming off fresh of the OGs from the 70s. This new cast and crew tried their very best, but they were not funny. Nothing happened until Eddie Murphy showed up. Gilbert Gottfried became more well-known after his tenure on Saturday Night Live because he didn't do anything on Saturday Night Live. All, he, all I remember him is doing some kind of uh, a walk, of, walk of Death thing episode. In. It was a sad, it was a sad, but rip, rest in peace, Gilbert Godfrey. Speaking of Gil, rest in peace, uh, huh, they're the goat, they're the goat. I want to put him as a goat. God damn it. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Gilbert Radner, one of the goats. Oh, Baba Wata, Baba Wata. She was one of the greats, one of the OGs. Extremely funny. Rest in peace, Gilda Radner. Harry Shear. You don't know who Harry Shear is. He is one of the voices on The Simpsons. He's the voice of Kent Rockman, a bunch of other guys. On Saturday Night Live, it was a blip on the radar. He would I only remember one scene, one sketch from him was like the radio host where he goes like, oh my, oh my, oh my, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Which he did the whole thing over in Wayne's World 2. Where like Wayne's World's talking about Wayne Fest and he's not even paying attention. Okay. Heidi Gardner. Ah, uh, I still see her as brand new. Um, she can be funny. Does not have hasn't had much to work with, like except her we can't update characters of what's her face, like that little girl character and wearing the pink stuff. Like, I don't know. She can be funny, but I don't remember any many characters from her. What I'm saying? Yeah. Who the hell is this? Oh my god, who is that? I don't remember at all. Sorry, mate. Dan Hooks. Uh they can be funny. No, 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 no. She's she's a goat. She's a goat. Dan Hooks is a goat. She was great. She, every character she did was amazing. She was to laugh my ass off. It was it, it really funny and very beautiful, but really funny. If Cecily Strong can make you laugh, Jan Hooks can make you laugh harder. Uh, Jane Curtin. Jane, you ignorant slut. He is also one of the goats. Hold on before you go crazy. Yeah, Jane Curtin is one of the goats. Because, come on, Coneheads, we can update. That's pretty much it. That she did, but she was, a, she was amazing. She was amazing. Uh, Janine Garofalo. Um, she was a blip on the radar. Sure, she was there during the last half of the 95 season. No, first half of the 95 season, and then left after that. Because she, like, she was that all the guys were getting the good stuff and she wanted more roles but it was like a man's world during that time so she left really didn't do much but yeah she was a blip on the radar she can be funny but she was a blip on the radar Jason Sudeikis uh hold on what's gonna be can be funny or the goat since the day is a goat, mm, okay. I'm gonna say what the goats. Jason Sudeikis is a goat. Yeah, he's hilarious. All the characters he's done, he was there for quite a while. Oh, the only thing that always uh messed me up is he, this dude is a very good looking man, and I'm wondering like, well, how the hell is he on Saturday Night Live? Not that all these other okay, none of these other guys are good that good looking. Just 
Let's kind of look at them. And then we got Jason Sudeikis, who's like a goddamn cosmopolitan model. Yeah. I'm just saying, this dude was hilarious. And I always wonder, like, how is he on this show? Shouldn't he be modeling somewhere? But the dude was mad funny. Uh, Jay Moore. Flip on the radar. He's funny now, but they never did anything with him on the show. Literally nothing. I need to read his book because I just need to read that book. Um, this. S. Mitchell, Dean Edwards. No, 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 no. Uh, Jay Farrow. Jay Farrow. Jay Farrow, he can be funny. Jay Farrow, he can be funny as hell because he has a master impressionist of voices. That, actually, that's all he does is a master impressionist of voices. Like Dana Carvey, he does voices. Jay Farrow, he's the voice. He's like the black version of Dana Carvey and stuff like that. But yeah, he's very hilarious, but all I, he's all he's known for is just doing voices. Hilarious voices, he got them down pat and the mannerisms down. With well, Kevin Hart. Did that thing. When Kevin Hart was on Saturday Night Live, but yeah, definitely has it down, is what I'm saying. Uh, Jeff Richards, I don't remember him at all, just know he was there. Jenny Slate, flip on the radar, sure, she's famous now, but when she started, she was only on one season and she fucked herself over by saying fuck on live air. And ever since then, she was, hasn't been doing much on that show. Although she has made a character of like the the New York jazzy girl that she now uses in Parks and Recreation. I think that's where she got that character because that's almost the exact same character. But yeah, she's hilarious. It's just that she didn't do anything on the show. Yo, who the hell is this? Huh. I don't remember who this guy is. Sorry. Jim Belushi. I'm gonna make a... Uh, you know what? Make a click. Add a row. Add a row below. Yeah. Do edit. Edit. Come on. Edit labels. It won't let me do it. Okay, I'm gonna give up on that. Okay. I'm gonna put him in here for being not funny and being a complete waste of time. Oh. There we go. Okay. Jim Belushi, not funny. Funny at all during his entire run of Saturday Night Live. Being that he's the brother of James Belushi. Oh, wait, is it. Wait, James or Jim Belushi? Oh, people are going to kill me. Yeah. No, his name is Jim. Right? Yeah, Jim Belushi. Just because he's the brother of John Belushi, gets to be on there. What a complete waste of time. I don't like Jim Belushi whatsoever. I never liked him in anything. I don't think anyone liked Jim Belushi on Saturday Night Live. But okay. Jim Brewer. Do it lip on the radar. Coming from Half Baked, and that's all I remember from him. The only thing I remember from him on the show, Saturday Night Live, is him being Goat Boy and being Joe Pesci. All I remember. Uh, who this? Um. Oh my God! Who the hell is that? Sorry, sorry. Some guy. Okay, Jimmy fucking Fallon. You know, easily I could put him on not funny, but actually, I actually watched his Saturday Night Live stuff, and he was hilarious. Granted, 
he broke character a lot and laughed like a motherfucker and that was annoying back then but everyone does it now but if it wasn't for him breaking we wouldn't have constant like the best sketches around like Debbie Downer and Will Ferrell and Sean Hayes in that one sketch you know what I'm gonna shoot myself this I'm gonna shoot myself because I don't like him at all, but he's a goat. I'm not gonna lie. Jimmy Fallon's one of the goats on there. Uh -huh, oh my god, I, I want to cry, but I can't go. I can't. It's history, man. It's history on the Saturday Night Live. He's one of the goats. He was one of the many goats. Um, Joan Cusack, not funny, was on one season. Amazing actress now. But she was not funny at all. Not so whatsoever. Uh, Joe Piscopo. That is Joe Piscopo, right? Hope it's Joe Piscopo. Joe Piscopo. He can be funny. He was... Yeah, Joe Piscopo can be really funny compared with... When he was teaming up with Eddie Murphy, because they were like the ultimate dream team during that era. Him and Eddie Murphy saved Saturday Night Live, but mostly Eddie Murphy. Him doing his Frank Sinatra voice and all the other stuff he did. But goddamn, his career went down the hole after Saturday Night Live. Kind of sad, because he was actually had talent, Joe Piscopo. And yeah, John Belushi! Here we go, man. Okay, don't get crazy. Don't get crazy. John Belushi is a goat. Can't say much about him. He's the goat. Not enough said. He was just a goat. Trust me. Who the hell? I don't remember this guy. Remember him at all? John Lovitz is one of them goats. Come on. John Lovitz is a goat. Come on. He was great in his tenure. He's like, eh, hey, that's a ticket playing Satan and having a lot of characters. And then he leaves Saturday Night Live and keeps on showing up all the time anyways. And he made a joke about it in one of the seasons like, wouldn't it be sad that if they left and they keep on coming back like John Lovitz all the time. And then they show John Lovitz in the, in the background. It's like, why am I here? <laughs> oh my God, John Lovitz is amazing. Um, ooh. Don't remember this guy. Yeah. Julia Louise Dreyfus. Um, I'm going to say between blip on the radar and not funny, before you go nuts on me, this was before Seinfeld. And this one, she was just first started. Nobody knew who she was. She was brand new to the scene. So I'm going to say not funny. Because I can't remember anything she actually did that was funny on the show. After the show, she's done a lot of stuff that was memorable, like Seinfeld, Veep, and other stuff. Norse. But the tenure on Saturday Night Live was, it was not funny. At all. Um, don't remember who this is. Sorry. Kate McKinnon. Come on, you goat. Get over to the goat side. You know you deserve that. Kate McKinnon is an ex absolute goat of this show. She's been there forever. She can play anything. She barely breaks. And God damn, she's hilarious is all I gotta say. She's just hilarious. Um, Keenan Thompson. Get over to the goat side, sir. Get over to the goat side. This dude has been on Saturday Night Live since. Been on the Mighty Ducks. First it was Tim Meadows for being long, lasting guy. And then it was Gerald Hammond. But now it's Keenan Thompson. He's beat everybody on there. This dude has so many great characters. He, it cannot be beat. Cele uh, uh, celebrity Jeopardy. Um, what's it called? Celebrity Jeopardy. Black Celebrity Jeopardy. Uh, what's up with that? Uh, too much stuff. This dude is just a king, man. Dude is just a king. 
Uh, Kevin Nealon. Hmm. Get to over to the goat. Gotta be a goat. Because Kevin Nealon, he is hilarious on Saturday Night Live. When he first started, like he was like the fast motion man. Like talk the subtle man, like talking and just putting in subtle things in there. Uh, Hans and Franz, come on. This dude was um, dude. This dude. Any sketch with Kevin Nealon was gold, is what I'm saying. Uh Kristen Wig. Let's go to the goat, baby. Kristen Wig is a goat. What else can I say? She's hilarious. She was great. She was amazing. There's a lot of goats in this. Huh. Yeah, Kristen Wiig. Very, very amazing. Very. Yo, who the hell is that? Is that Mike O'Brien? Uh, I think that's Mike O'Brien. Yeah, Mike O'Brien. Mike O'Brien. Lip on the radar, Mike O'Brien. Uh, you were there. It's some stuff. The only thing I remember about you is that you dated Cecily Strong. I don't I don't know how you dated Cecily Strong, but you dated Cecily Strong. Jesus Christ. Uh Lorraine Newman. Um Sorry. It's there, I guess. I don't remember much from her, but she was there, but she became or famous after was doing voice work. Like, I don't remember anything she did on Saturday Night Live. Really. She was just there. Sorry. Um, who this? I don't remember who this is. Sorry. Lauren Holt. Hmm, she was only there for one season, though. She really didn't have much to say. I'm sorry, I'm just going to say not funny, but it's not because she didn't try. She, they didn't give her much, so I couldn't tell. And she only had one season, so... I don't know. Yeah. All I gotta say. Who's this? Ah... Uh, don't remember them. Oh, wait, this is a uh, Laura Keitlinger. This one right here. Yeah, yeah, Laura Keitlinger. Sorry, not funny, because they didn't give her anything to do during the whole '95 season. She was just there. She didn't became famous after. Yeah, she was just not funny. Sorry, sorry. Um. Oh. Ah, what's her name? The one from Ghostbusters. Uh, okay. God, it was. Oh. Dean Pedronuk. How can I forget her name? Oh my god, what is her name? She was on Ghostbusters. She's on all, all this stuff. Leslie Jones, yeah. Uh okay. Can be funny. Alright. Yeah, I'm just saying she can be funny in certain things, because like except for her loud yelling, it's obnoxious. But her flirting with Colin Jost all the time on Weekend Update was hilarious. Uh, uh, the, uh, that one where she always threw up and forgot all her lines because, like, James Franco was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> and it freaked out Leslie Jones. But yeah, she was. She can be funny. They just they get, should have given her more. I'd like to see some more stuff from her. Yeah. Is that Mark McKinney? Oh, that's Luke Null, isn't it? Yeah, Luke Null. Okay, Luke Null was not funny for that one season. They didn't do anything with him. That had that awkward ass. Catch <sighs> with him. We hear the audience not even laugh. This dude right here. Who is this? Don't remember him. 
Martin Short, one of the heavy hitters, was Billy Crystal's. Billy Crystal. Um, okay, they were there, I guess, because like he, he was famous before the show, was brought in as a heavy hitter to save the show was Billy Crystal. He didn't really do much. He's more well known for stuff he did before and after. Not really more of an SCTV guy, is what I'm saying. Uh Mark Dunn? Mary Gross? Yeah, Mary Gross. Hmm. Mary Gross, they were there, I guess. Only thing I remember from her is Alfalfa. And that's about it. This dude, who's this? Don't remember him, sorry. Don't remember who this guy is. Uh, oh my god. I used to have a huge crush on her back in the day. Uh, oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, come on, brain. Come on, brain. What was her name? What was her name? Come on. Why can't I remember her goddamn name? She was with... My God, I'm getting like a brain freeze right now. Why? Maya Rudolph, that's her name. Ah. Hey, Maya Rudolph. They can be funny. They can be funny. I, I don't remember much of her characters, but she's not a goat type level, but she was funny. But she, she was funny, is all I got to say. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to remember. From characters she did, but no, I can't. But she was funny, though. She was funny. Uh, Melody Hustle. Hmm. Flip on the radar. The girl is hilarious, but she barely did anything when her season was when she was on there. She was there for three seasons too, but she was barely doing anything. Okay. Melissa Villasenor, one of the goats. Let's go. Come on. Melissa Villasenor, one of the goats. Like, she, she's gotten better. She was like the shy one when she first started, but now she's coming out of her skin and becoming a regular ass boss bitch, is what I'm saying. She's amazing. I love it. And her voices, the voices, she is on par with every voice. Michael Che, um, hmm, why not, uh, no, don't be mad, uh, they can be funny, just like Colin Jost, I want to see more from this guy, because all I see from him, doing weekend update, uh, let's see more of what he can do, I'm sure he's done some sketches here and there, but he hasn't broken off yet. Uh, Michael McKeon. Uh, they were there, is what I'm saying. Michael McKeon, they were there. He's an amazing actor. He didn't need to be there. He was already well known before he joined. He just needed a heavy hitter for like the, the 95 season, part of 96, I think. No, not 96. Yeah. But no, but after, he was great. That's great. I don't know why he didn't put him on there just for name value in, in himself. Yeah, because he was already well known before that. Uh, Michaela Watkins. Michaela Watkins. Um, honestly, I don't remember anything she did that was funny. She tried, but they didn't give her much. It wasn't that funny is what I'm saying. Um, no, 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 I can't, I mean, 
flip on the radar. She was there. They didn't give her much. She tried. But she was funny. Her, when she was part of the view thing, she was hilarious. So yeah, I remember some of it. I, she did make me laugh. Okay. Michael O'Donoghue. I never found this guy funny at all. That she was his character of like Mr. Mike. Uh, but that was a different time though. I, I, I watched it, but that was a different time. I didn't understand the humor. Even as an adult, I rewatched it. I still don't understand what the hell he was doing. Uh, Mike Myers. Hmm. I would say. Can be funny? Or one of the goats? Oh, no, he was one of the goats for sure, because he was part of the bad boy era. Wayne's World, uh, Rockets, a bunch of other characters. Yeah, he's a goat. Cause, yeah. Uh, that kid that had like kind of a mental ability and would just always run. No, he was probably he was a goat. He was hilarious, though. He was hilarious. Yeah. So he's a goat. Yeah. Oh, this is Mike O'Brien, Mike O'Brien, the one that dated Cecily Strong. Then who the hell was the other dude? Where is that other guy? Um, flip on the radar. Uh, this guy right here. Who was this? Don't remember him. Oh, back here. Yeah, so Mike O'Brien dated Cecily Strong. Not funny at all. He was just there. Uh, this. What the hell? I don't know who this is. I remember, sorry. Molly Shannon. Damn. On. They were there, I guess. I didn't really find her that funny. Like, there's so many times that uh, cool girl thing where, like, she just does this all the time can get really annoying really fast. And the whole thing of her and Anna Gasteyer doing the radio thing, Greg Simon, like, got old real quick, in my opinion. But yeah, she was just there. It was like, she's funny, but she was just there is all I got to say. Yeah, for me, it's like she wasn't really that great with characters. Of, uh, Rowena Banks? I, I don't know if it's if she's a blip on the radar or not funny, because she was only there for like two episodes in the last season of 95. They just put her there in two episodes. Like, I remember her, but for the wrong reasons. Flip on the radar or not funny? I'm going to go with not funny because she was only in two episodes. And not one time did she make me laugh. And then she was gone after that. Nancy Walls. Now known as Nancy Carroll. Married to Steve Carroll. Steve Carell. Flip on the radar. Showed up in 96 with the Will Ferrell era. Only funny thing she did is that a uh, reporter with the fucked up eye. That was the only thing I found hilarious on her. Other than that, they didn't really do much with her. She returned years later when Steve Carell got married to her and he, she was in a backstage segment. Other than that, she was just a blip on the radar. Uh, Nassim Padrid. Nassim Padrid. Um... I'm going to say they were there, I guess, but besides, honestly, I don't remember much from her. I don't know if she made me laugh or did she did make me laugh. I just know she was there. She became kind of more famous after the show. I had to show Chad, but really, I don't remember much from her during the show. She was just there. All I got to say, Noelle Wells. 
wouldn't say she's not funny. She was just a blip on the radar. The only thing I remember from her is like that uh, video, music video, where like the girls talk about having sex with their boyfriends on Christmas. It was hilarious. Do it on my twin bed. That's the only time I remember her. Uh, Nora Dunn. I'm sorry. Nora Dunn. I just don't find her funny. And she always has that resting bitch face. I'm sorry. She does. I just never found her funny. Um, moving on. Norm MacDonald. Baby. Come on. Norm MacDonald is the, one of the greatest goats on goddamn planet. He made 96, 97, 98. 95, 96, 97, 98, watchable. Everything he did, Weekend Update, uh, Bob Dole, uh, Tommy Lee, uh, Weekend Update, come on, he was the king of those and then got replaced by goddamn Colin Quinn. And he got fired for not being funny, but mostly because he could make so many O.J. Simpson jokes. But he came back a year later to host and said that he said I wasn't funny, but they're not funny. Yeah. Oh my God, Norm Macdonald's such a comic genius. Uh, R.I.P. Norm Macdonald. R.I.P. You are missed. Pamela Stevenson. Um. Flip on the radar. That was during the time of Martin Short, Bill. Uh, Martin Short, Bill, Billy Crystal era. Julia Louise Dreyfus. I don't remember anything she. Yeah, I don't. I know she was there. I just don't remember anything she was on there. She was just there. Like she didn't become mega famous after this. So just a blip on the radar. Yeah. Uh, who the? Oh my god. Don't remember this person. All Britain. Flip on the radar. I wouldn't say he wasn't funny because he did make me laugh. Was that dancing court jester guy that he did as a character that one or two times? And other than that, he didn't do anything. Yeah, so at least he made me laugh, but he was just there. Paul Schaefer. Yes, Paul Schaefer was on there. And he was not funny. He was just background stuff. Never did anything noteworthy. And then he became the band leader of David Letterman's show. Who is this? I don't remember who this is. Most because I can't see their face. Huh. Tom Davis? Wait, oh? Don't no remember his dude. Okay. Bill Hartman. Gotta go as a goat. Where'd he go? Another man that was lost way too soon because his wife was extremely jealous and shot him and then shot herself. But like I said, Beck Bennett reminds me of Phil Hartman so much because he was the heart and soul of the show during his era. You can tell that like the show wasn't the same after he left. Yeah, that Beck Bennett came along. Where are you, Beck? Where is that dude? Come on, Beck. There he is. Beck Bennett does remind me of Phil Hartman of his era, because they pretty much had the same qualities, like the heart and soul of everything. Okay, Punky Johnson. So this is where I started watching her. Um, I haven't seen much of her. She's a blip on the radar. I need to see more. I only seen like one season of her. Yeah, I need to see more of her because, like, I yeah, I only seen one season. Rachel Dratch. Um, it can be funny because, like, Debbie Downer really made me laugh. But other than that, what else did she do that was worse while laughing? Because, like, other other than one character, I don't remember really that much. 
from her, but she can be, she can she can be funny is what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> Randy Quaid. Fight him being a out a, 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 just a crazy asshole. Uh, there I guess. He was only there for one season. He was known before this and after. Like I said, I don't know why they get heavy hitters to be on the show. I guess it's to spice up the show. But he was somewhat funny. Like the president. But then he left. And yeah, and then Independence Day. And now he's just a crazy old man. Stop doing movies because he thinks the government is after him. Yeah. Oh, God. Who is this dude? I don't remember him. Oh, Rob Riggle. I like Rob Riggle. He's hilarious in movies. He always plays the asshole. But on his one season of Saturday Night Live, he was not funny at all. They didn't give him much. But he was just trying. At one time did I laugh, but Rob Riggle is a funny man outside of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, so all I'm going to say, Rob Schneider. Uh, mm, is he a cross between a goat or they can be funny? I'm going to go with... They can be funny. The dude can make me laugh, like the office guy. He's like, getting some staplers. Oh my god. Uh, and the weed guy is like, you know what? You couldn't put that in. You put your weed in there. Other than that, he was hilarious on this show. Too bad he lasted only four seasons. Okay, he was fairly hilarious, but yeah. His movie career choice, not that great, but on Saturday Night Live, he was really, really funny. Robert Downey Jr. Hmm. Let's just, let's just be real. Not funny. Because this was when he was younger, before he was mega famous. Only had one season on Saturday Night Live. And he did not make people laugh whatsoever. It was embarrassing for him to be on there. Very embarrassing. All I gotta say, like his Saturday Night Live run was awful. Robert Smigel. Um. Hmm. Robert Smigel will go on to, where'd he go? Flip on the radar. His alone stuff by him doing whatever he needs to do. He was not funny, but his Saturday Night Funhouse cartoons. His, yeah, his Funhouse cartoons, especially the Beautifully Gay Duo, were hilarious. All the cartoons he did for that show were amazing. As a sketch artist, Get player, not funny. As a cartoonist, he was great. So he was just a blip on the radar. Uh, who is? I don't remember this person. Sarah Silverman. I'm sorry, guys, but we gotta be real here. For one season on the Saturday Night Live, they never did anything with her, and she was not funny. She became funny years later, and she found her true calling after, because she was very, she was brand new, and she didn't know what her gimmick was yet. But yeah, she was not funny on Saturday Night Live on her one season. They never did anything with her. But she became someone after, and she's a really funny now. Zahir Samaha, Zahir Samata, Zahir Samata. Sorry. I, she's funny as hell. 
she was barely there, didn't barely do anything. The only thing I remember her is from Resolution Revolution music video, the first sketch she's ever been in. And the Wizard of Oz uh, sketch. Other than that, she was just there and got to say the N-word on Weekend Update for her birthday. That's all I remember from her. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Steph Myers. Huh. Um, Seth Myers, he can be funny when he was doing his uh, sketches before Weekend Update. He was hilarious. Got even more hilarious with Weekend Update. That's pretty much it. That's all he did. Yeah. Uh, Seboyan Fallon Hogan Seboyan Fallon uh, She's not known for comedy. She's more known for drama movies. Unless she does comedy. All I've seen her was drama movies. But she was only there for one season and for a couple episodes, and she was not funny at all. Unless she did the frat girls thing, which was supposed to be funny. But I never laughed about the frat girl sketch. Frat girl sketch. Frat. Fratness. Uh. Yo, who this? Is that looks like someone, but I don't know. Don't hurt this person. Yeah. Who this again? Don't know. Kim Kazarinsky. Uh. Kim Kazarinsky, you know him as Sweet Chuck from the Police Academy movies. He was. He, it can be funny, but they gave him monkeys and that pun scientist gimmick that they gave him on Weekend Update. Other than that, he that's all he did. But yeah, he can be funny, but he went on to be Sweet Chuck for Police Academy. And that's about it. That's all I remember from his career. Tim Meadows. Uh... Tim Meadows was there, I guess, because, like, he did stuff. He did, like, the ladies' man. That's it. And the sketch he did was Christopher Walken about the census, which was hilarious. And that was about pretty much it. And then he does a bunch of other stuff after. Not really that a famous, but mostly an Adam Sandler film. But he was just, he, he, he was there. He was there. Is that John Radisky? I think that's John Radisky. Uh, don't know. Sorry, man. Sorry. Who's this? God, who is that? Also, don't know. Um, um, the other half of Al Franklin thing. Tom um, something. Not funny. At all, it was Al Franken. Then he came back years later without Al Franken and did a sketch, and he was just awful. Awful. This guy, I don't remember him. Tony Rosato might have been funny on SNL. I mean, might have been funny on SCTV. I didn't find him funny at all on Friday Night Live. He, he yeah, nah, <laughs> yeah. Tracy Morgan, uh, he is, where'd he go, a goat, started out small, he didn't use him as much, but then he got bigger and bigger, not, not weight wise, but he got bigger and bigger on the show, but he was hilarious, especially him, like, telling Lauren Michaels, get, go get my coffee, bitch, and just being himself. He was just amazing. He's he was truly a he was really great. He really was. Vanessa Bayer. Um Vanessa so okay. Vanessa Bayer is one of the goats. 
lasted there for a long time. Ever she, she, her smile was always infectious. She was just great, is all I gotta say. She did some great stuff. And uh, the weather girl that had stroke was hilarious, but that was on her last run. So I would love to see more of that character. Other than that, she was great. Like uh, the commercial she did with Bruce Willis on Saturday Night Live or J.K. Simmons, like the football thing. Like, how are my hungry men? And they're just watching a blank screen. And the fact that she always looks so afraid of everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Victoria Jackson. Hmm. Victoria Jackson, she made me laugh. Really didn't do much. All she did was like the dumb blonde gimmick all the time, which was really, really tiring. But she made some good sketches here and there. But she was just a blip on the radar. Will Ferrell, you know where that guy's going. Right to the trash. <laughs> oh, no. Will Ferrell, the man that saved in 90, uh, 96 Saturday Night Live season. Right off the bat, his first sketch, he kills it. And ever since then, he was the highest paid Saturday Night Live guy ever. And he became a huge megastar. But yeah, go back and watch his first sketch on his first, on when he showed up. The man absolutely killed it in the first second. He is just amazing that way. Uh, Will Forte? Hmm. Will Forte can be... Will Forte... He can be funny. He is funny. He's not a goat. But everything he did was flat out funny, like coach dancing, but the head of, wait, what am I talking about? He is a goat. All right, McGruber, now that I'm thinking about it, McGruber, the pedophile guy that goes to Halloween and saying like, I need to sign this because I'm dressed as a hollow, uh, as a pedophile. I was like, are you a pedophile? I was like, eh. <laughs> oh, just the way he sells it. What am I talking about? He's a goat, Will Forte. I'm sad that his career hasn't gone Far after. Well, they are bringing back McGruber TV show. Yeah. And Yvonne Hudson? Huh. Don't remember much. No, wait, I do remember. Okay. No. Okay, not funny, because, like, I really don't remember anything funny she ever did. Okay, so that's about it. Let's see what we got here. We got the goats, Adam Sandler, AD Bryan, Amy Fowler, uh, Adam Sandberg, Andy Sandberg, Bennett, Bill Hader, Bill Murray, Cecily Strong, Chevy Chase, Chris Carley, Jane Curtin, Nora Dunn, Gilbert Radner, Garrett Morris, Fred Armisen, Eddie Murphy, Daryl Hammond, Dan Aykroyd, Dana Carvey, Chris Parnell, Jason Sudeikis, Jimmy Fallon, uh, John Belushi, John Lovett, uh, Kate McKinnon, Ian Thompson, Kevin Nealon, Kristen Wiig, Melissa Villasenor, Mike Myers, Will Forte, Will Ferrell, Vanessa Bayer, Tracy Morgan, Phil Hartman, and Norm MacDonald. So yeah, that's my take on the best and worst of them all. What do you guys think? I'm pretty sure I pissed some people off. That's just my list. What do you guys think of it so far? I wish I remember who these people were at the... the don't remember because honestly, who are these people? Okay, Al Zibowell. I know this guy. Who's this? This is Mikey Day. I'm gonna be so mad. Where is Mikey Day? I miss Mikey Day. Pretty sure he's in here somewhere. Because Mikey Day, where would I put Mikey Day? Because I don't see him. Mikey Day. I'm going to say he's a goat if I ever find him on here. Mikey Day does great stuff. And where the hell is Alex Moffat? He's also a goat. Either that, because like Mikey Day and Alex Moffat look alike to me. I don't, can never tell them apart. Not because they're white. 
literally, they look the same. They have the same bone structure and same facial features, and they're both handsome men. But yeah, I know I'm missing Mikey Day and Alex Moffat. Who else am I missing? I have... I said Don Aykroyd, John Belushi, Chevy Chase, George Coe, Jane Curtin, Michael Spielberg, Tom Davis, Hal Franken, Peter Aykroyd. Peter Aykroyd! Okay, Dan Aykroyd's brother. Peter Aykroyd. Don't, don't remember him at all. Jim Downey. Don't remember him. Danny Dillon. Did I put her somewhere? But I would say she was not funny because she was on the first, like the sixth season and all that stuff. Anne Risley. Don't remember anything from her. Matthew Lawrence. Not Matthew Lawrence was the other from the Superhero Ceremony with Cyber Squad, but the other Matthew Lawrence. Don't remember him. Patrick Weathers. Don't remember him. Robin Duke. Don't remember him. Lori Metcalf. Flip on the radar because they only put her in one episode. Christine Ebersol, don't remember her. Gary Kroger, don't remember Gary Kroger at all. Christopher Guest, don't remember him at all. Uh, who else did I miss? Harry Sweeney. Hmm. Harry Sweeney. Harry Sweeney, he can be funny when he was like playing Ronald Reagan's wife, doing other stuff, but um, he was there. He didn't really do much. All I remember him doing was like being Ronald Reagan's wife, but I would put him in there, I guess. Uh, who else am I missing? <laughs> Hill Middle Hustle, Michael Bowman, Donald J. Morris, or Weena Banks. I got that. Mark McKinney, I got him. Did I get Mark McKinney? I don't think I got Mark McKinney. Mark McKinney, like, he was a blip on the radar in the 95 season. It's him and David Ketchner. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Jerry Minor? Who's Jerry Minor? Okay, Jerry Minor, don't remember him. Dean Edwards, who's a blip on the radar. Uh, Tyler Watkins, I talked about her. Jane Slate, Vanessa Brayer, Paul Britton, Taryn. Oh, Taryn Killam. Taryn Killam, I would put as a goat because it's Taryn Killam. He was amazing in anything he did. Like the uh, the ride with uh, those animatronic robots. Trying to kill whoever's trying to be there. And Resolution Revolution song. His rap songs. His Brad Pitt impression was amazing. Karen Kill Him as a goat. I don't know where he is on here. But I would pull him, put him as a goat. Yeah. Uh, John, John Milheiser. Don't know who that is. Pete Davidson. How did I not? Where is Pete Davidson on here? Uh, all right. So Pete Davidson. Where does he go on this? Um, I'm going to say he can be funny. Because like he's Pete Davidson. But people mostly talk about him because of a, him be dating Ariana Grande or Kim Kardashian. Or his mental health. Like. I like his stuff he does. He's not a, a goat yet. Just there and being funny. Like he can do more. It's just I want to see more of him doing something. Like I know that he breaks a lot, which makes him adorable. But yeah, I just say he's just there in, and he can be funny. John Rednitsky, never funny at all. Mikey Day is one of the goats. Alex Moffat is one of the goats. Luke Null, never funny. Andrew Dismooks? Uh, I've only seen him for one season. I don't really know much of him, so I can't really think of anything. But if I put him on the list, he's like... Uh, flip on the radar. He's just there. I need to see more of him. 
yeah, so that's it. Like, I'm missing Mikey Johnson, like, Mike Day and all of them. Like, I don't know where the hell they are. Is that Pete Davidson? I think that's, that would be a guy that looks like Pete Davidson. All right, Pete Davidson, you are going right here. Now, if I know, if I can figure out who Kyle Moffat and Mikey Day are, that'd be great. But anyways, that's it for now. Humanoid Nation, like, what do you guys think of the list? Yeah, please, this is all I can think of right now. Let me know what other kind of tier list you want me, guys, want me to do, and I'll think about it. This was quite a list. Anyways, take it easy. Bye.